PeteTools.com. G'day, 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 Pete from Pete's Tools as usual, checking in with another piece of useless information for you guys to have a look at. Anyway guys, today I am going on about these things. Can you run a compressor on one of these suckers? And how long can you actually have the thing before the compressor won't go, or does it make any difference at all? Maybe it doesn't make any difference at all. I'm going to go and do a little experiment, and uh, we'll see how we get on. And remember guys, you like my videos, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment. And remember, even if you don't like my videos, come back next week, check the next one out, just to make sure in your own mind that you don't like them. Okay? Anyway guys, let's go and check out this video. So guys, here's a 90 foot cord, extension cord. Right, now, was that going to run like a little compressor? What do you reckon? Hey? We'll do a bit of an experiment, eh? And we'll have a look and see how we get on. Right, and I want to try and run this with it. So this is my uh, workshop compressor guys, and we'll try and plug that cord into this, and we'll see if we can get the little bestie to run. So anyway, um, this is nothing special, this compressor, it's just your normal um, workshop compressor. But this is um, probably the biggest I can run on my power that I have available in my workshop, and this is running 240 volt, but you can get them 110 volt, 115 volt, depending where you guys live. And uh, this thing is a 15 amp current draw, so uh, yeah, we'll see how we go running it on an extension cord guys, see what happens eh? So as you can see guys, I've got the cord stretched out on the lawns going over there to the garden and then we'll bring it all the way back here to the um, to the compressor. And there she is there, so we'll just go and plug them in. So we're running about 70, 80 feet of cord at the moment, so we'll see how we go. So I'll plug this in just into the normal wall outlet socket here. I'm running 240 volts here. So we'll take our cord unwind this and we'll um, plug them into here I'll we'll drain the air out of the tank so that we're starting from no pressure in the pump right I've got it hooked up into my uh, workshop hooked up this end so like I say we'll run the 70 80 feet of uh, extension cord see if we can get it to go not a problem at all, started quite easy. They go, well, it's not a problem, running on the extension cord, no worries at all. So let's just see how we get on. So that's up to its pressure, it's automatically switched off, so if I drain some air out of it, we'll see if we can start it again. Looking good guys, it's past the, the switch, it's hit the thermal overload, so we'll try and start it manually. See that issue there guys? It sucks, it really sucks Pete, look at this. So you thought that you'd go and do your job around the side of the house or something with an extension cord and you try and start your compressor and this is what you get. See it's actually just clicked out on the thermal overload now, I have to wait. Here we go, have another go, stop. And that's only got about a quarter of the amount of pressure and that it normally starts at. It just won't, it just hasn't got any grunt to, to, um, to start it. And it's also it's drawing that much power that it's uh, overheating the motor. It, um, they don't like it for some reason, they just don't like it if you're running, um, it's not getting enough juice in other words. It's sucking what it can out of that cord and it's just, um, just terrible for the, for the machines. So uh, that's what I've learned anyway and I only figured this out. After I spent three quarters of the day trying to figure out what was wrong with the stupid bloody compressor because it wouldn't go when I was trying to pump up the truck tyres down the end of the drive with an extension cord. So what I ended up doing was um, I ended up just running the machine back to the back to my workshop and charging it up full of air and unplugging it and then taking it and then doing it two or three times like that. But it, uh, it took me a while to figure out what was wrong with it. You know, thick as, thick as me, Pete. You know, here it is. But um, yeah, so this is just what I've learnt anyway. And another thing you can do that's really, really bad is this. So you've got, say, like a 50, 70 foot extension cord, but you're only working 20 foot away from where, where you want to be with your, with your machine. So what you do, instead of running it all the way out on the lawn, so you have to roll it up again, you just leave it in a coil like this, and you plug your machine into it like that. Well, that's a no-no as well, because it's not only is it, it's a, it's a, it can't get enough juice to run your machine. What it's doing going around like that, it's like it's creating a heating element 
and if you actually get the thing to run under the rum for a while, this will get really, really hot, and actually, so I've had this, this actually start to smoke. So, uh, yeah, it's not a good look, eh? Pick's learned that the hard way, you know what I mean? And it also it'll burn the motor out of your compressor, which sucks. So there's a real easy solution for this. I'll show you what it is. So instead of buggerizing around with a bloody extension cord that's going to bugger your machine, just you get a longer airline. It's probably cheaper than a bloody extension cord anyway, and um, it's a lot safer. You can just plug that into your workshop, run a long airline out to wherever you're going, and you can even work in the rain or whatever because your machine is undercover and you've got your ear where you need it, and you can just, you know, keep out of trouble. Don't get yourself electrocuted, don't turn out your compressor. You know how it is. So, yeah, so that's just a simple fix for it anyway, guys. That's uh, what I do now. I just get a long air lead and do whatever I want to do, and I don't drag my compressor's ass all around the section and, and do it like that, you know. Anyway, guys, so that was just a little uh, piece of useless information for the day. So, you fellas, now you know, if you want to run your air compressor outside or a long distance away from your workshop, don't use one of these. Use a long one of these instead, and you'll keep yourself out of trouble. Anyway, guys, if you like my videos, do the old usual thing you do. Subscribe, like, drop me a comment, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Pete's Tools.com.